Hello, welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. I'm no longer a day trader and I will be using plain sense to explain my stock pick and investment strategies. If you like what you see, subscribe, like, and share. If you're new to investing, great. Use my links to get free stocks with Webull and Robinhood. Now, let's get into it. And like I've mentioned before, I found your company because I was specifically looking for an extension of Kathy Woods's ARC Q ETF, which is the autonomous technology and robotics section, because she said that this is a new segment and it's going to be explosive. I have my own reasoning for why I think it is prime time for a robotics, autonomous robotic and artificial intelligence. But I'm curious to know why do you think that it's prime time for your product? Mm -hmm. Oh, great, great point. Um... I definitely want, uh, after I answer this question and we go through some of those technical elements that you're asking about, I want to hit on uh, a bit of a second mission that I've since acquired. So my first mission wholeheartedly is to bring AITX to tremendous success, you know? Um, so that's obviously my first mission. Uh, folks that have been following me and been a part of the Red Army for years, have seen me demonstrate that commitment and sacrifice to make that happen. I, I'm, I think that it's worthy of this type of commitment and sacrifice, not just from me, but from the team that I lead, because it is going to happen. There's no question about it. The concepts that I've written about, uh, I think the thought leadership that I've provided, somebody will do it. And I think that somebody is going to be a bit of a serial entrepreneur who has the industry experience, has the ability to connect all the dots between software, hardware, financing, leadership, and so forth, right? So uh, I think that I'm, 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 I'm the guy. Um, and, you know, I think that because, you know, I've been in this for 35 years, following the technology and working with it and being a part of it and talking to security directors and finance managers, you know, for the duration of my career. So uh, that's... That's why I think this will happen. Uh, I see it happen. I'm a part of it happening. I want to be the primary change agent to make it happen. And that's what we do. Yes, I actually watched one of your video interview um, where you talked about the product and the future for robotics and artificial intelligence. You mentioned that the time is right because we have NVIDIA and human detection technology. And the fact is, if we look into Tesla's autonomous uh, driving, it uses a lot of quantum computing technology and supercomputers. But what originally would take robots uh, years to learn, now that's being condensed into minutes. So computers are going to be so much smarter with quantum technology. For that reason, I think that there is tremendous growth for your company. Definitely with, I saw Romeo. Romeo, my favorite uh, robot that you have. The reason is because R Romeo was what convinced me to buy into your company because I think Romeo has a disruptive quality. I was thinking it could handle the job of a, a security guard because it can roam around and perform all the function. I saw a model of Romeo from 2017 and that model is very different than the model in uh, 2020. I'd like to know when, when there are modifications to your hardware, how do you guys assess those changes? Great, great, great question. The first robotics uh, device that you're referring to, the 2017 device, uh, was not made or designed by RAM. We were uh, partnering with the European manufacturer and adding, you know, our human detection, our NVIDIA-based stuff on top of it. Um, there were some problems with it. Uh, we, we, I canceled the program at great cost. Uh, I almost lost AITX in the process. We went into some difficult times. And I like to share that because I think that investors and traders who put money into AITX need to know that this company has demonstrated a significant amount of resilience. And um, I think that as an investor, if I was an investor, I would want to know, hey, these guys are here. They're here to stay. They've already fought through challenge. They're a proven, dedicated team. So anyway, I just wanted to pitch, pitch my team on that. But after we closed out that program and we went on extremely limited resources, we knew what our concept was. We knew what the ARS manifesto was all about. We created, we started the stationary line. 
throughout that process, I was developing this. And I worked with four industrial engineers and 300 designs in order to hit a design that would fulfill everything that I needed it to fulfill. So it was, it was an effort, it was a design effort of at least 12 months. It was another six months before we came out with our first prototype in uh, November of uh, 2019. We, uh, we demonstrated our, our first prototype at a Verizon event, a Verizon uh, Re Resilience, Emergency Services Resilience event in, uh, in Georgia. Um, and I was like, okay, this is, this is the form factor. This is the, these are the technical specs of it. After that prototype, we, we developed the, new, the newest Romeo, the Romeo, what we call 1.0, and deployed a couple of those uh, a couple months ago. So uh, the Romeo device that you know that I have released public information on is a mere shadow of the Romeo that will be functioning and operating and continuing to be developed over the next uh, 12 months and beyond. The form factor is so versatile, the technology in it is so capable that I just need time to continue to unlock it. And I'm sorry to, uh, maybe I'm not sorry, but uh, I, I know I'm teasing and I have to tease, but you know, there's a lot of eyes on us and there's a lot of eyes that follow us and there's a lot of wannabes and uh, uh, that's why I keep uh, this type of roadmap information kind of internal until it's baked uh, and, then I, and then I release it. Completely understand. And in fact, I was gonna touch on the component of resiliency because you know, in my opinion, I invest in innovative companies because I think only innovative companies can innovate themselves out of a pandemic in which we all know that you, your sale is growing during a pandemic. And so to me, that for an investor, I think that is the most important quality. But I think the next question is the question that uh, I'm very curious to know. I watched an interview with, um, on Brian Chesky, the president of Airbnb. And the interviewer asked Brian this question, when Airbnb started, what was the biggest challenge? And Brian Chesky said, Airbnb, very difficult for people to board with strangers because that's a very foreign idea. But being in the industry, he had an internal, or he called it a unique insight and he knew Airbnb would work. In your situation, could you explain to us what is the challenge for the robotic and physical security space that you have to help create a paradigm shift? And what is your, your unique insight that people like myself who are not in the industry does not know? I enjoy this interview very much because I appreciate the fact that you came into it with uh...